Hello everyone, my name's Elir2 and welcome back to my Let's Play uh, of Victoria 2 with the Napoleon's Legacy mod with the Mughal Empire. Yes, so in the last episode, we continued our conquest up in here, took over the, uh, what are they, like the Kazakh, the Uyghur, and the Turkish, yeah, Turkmen, Turkmen, I guess that's what they're called. Uh, and our industry is now number one in the world. We are the best around. No one's ever going to take us down. Except for the French. Because the French have huge prestige for some reason. Probably because they dismantled the Germans. Because fuck Germany. That's why. Uh, but now we're hoping on dismantling the Dutch. Right? We were just about to dismantle the Dutch. Correcto mundo. I think. Yeah, let's go with it. Uh, yeah, we must have. They're not allied with anyone, so... Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, sorry. They're friendly with... No one. I thought they were friendly with the French. Whatever, we're gonna save scum this, because, uh, reasons. <laughs> reasons, reasons, reasons. Let's go ahead and speed along. Egypt goes bankrupt, of course it does. Yeah, but no, it's gonna cost us quite a bit to dismantle the, uh, Dutch... Hopefully, I mean, we're definitely going to get caught. If we don't get caught, I'm going to dance. All right, let's get uh, clean coal. I'm, I, we don't have much coal at all or iron or sulfur, I don't think. Right? Uh, a little bit. Iron, not that much. And sulfur, yeah, we have a little bit of sulfur. Well, we definitely don't have the most, obviously. but uh, So we're just going to get that just a little bit of industry and uh, increase our technology. Now, our navy is pretty damn good. Lots of battleships and ironclads and cruisers and other fun stuff. We have 80, 80 steam transports. You know what? Let's just finish it off with 20 more steam transports. Just because I know we can. And uh, let's con uh, continue to expand these naval bases up to level 4 in case they haven't already. Right? Okay, let's go down there. Uh, over here, we need some. And obviously over here, they're only level 1s. They don't even have one up there. And, okay, I think that's it. Cool. Awesome, so awesome. Put it down quickly. Don't want the Arabs to revolt. No, thank you, good sir. No, thank you, indeed. Alright, more tax efficiency. Very nice. I like me some taxes. That's where most of our money comes from, anyways. Actually, most of our money, I believe, comes from tariffs. Because, Jesus Christ, the amount of tariffs we get. Oh, that's what we get for being the highest industrial power. Oh, sorry, yawning, yawning. Let's get an interchangeable parts. I mean, it's 1913. You'd expect us to get, like, mechanized industry, but no, no, no. Who needs mechanized industry when you have two, uh, 250 million people? I mean, really. Really, wh why would you need it? All right, and crops don't grow themselves. Oh, right, I should probably keep expanding any industry I can. Jesus Christ, the United Provinces. The United Provinces, you guys have way too many people. Way too fucking many there, kiddo. Way many. Alright, uh, fall back. We don't want to gain uh, infamy, obviously. Ah, and we got caught. Alright, so I'll see you guys in just one second. All right, yeah, guys, so there we have it, the Dismantled Nation CB against the Dutch. Dear God, that took forever. So as an update, uh, the Russians went to war with Crimea. Crimea was allied with the French. We went to war with uh, the French, with Russia, Austria, and the British Union on our side. And we won, as you can see. Uh, sadly, we could not dismantle the French, but, uh, you know, you know, it was always fun beating the shit out of the French. Uh, and yeah, so now the Dutch are actually getting influenced by the Germans, who are now a republic. So that's pretty fucking weird. But let's go ahead, dismantle nation. Uh, the Ottomans will and Japanese will accept our call to arms. I'm okay with that. Old Japan here, come on in. And the Ottomans, come on in as well. Thank you, guys. You're dolls. All right. Get over here. And get down there. So I'm pretty sure I'll just allow the Japanese to, to do all the hard work. I totally just realized that I'm not going to gain all this land if the Japanese gain it. Oh, no. Well, whatever. 
we'll dismantle them and hopefully we'll gain most of the territory because we're doing all the hard work, right? Jesus Christ. I always hate how Dismantle Nation works because it's usually like, oh yeah, no, we're just going to give it to random fucking countries. Yeah. That's how it's going to work. Fuck you. That's why. Right, let's bring our navy down here to assist the French. Uh, not French. The, um, the Japanese. All right, wiping everyone out. Cool, cool. And let's get over here. You guys can get transported over here. Oh, hey, wait, no, the Dutch are right there. Let's go kill them. Fucking kill them. Battle's negative three? Really? Wow, okay. Uh, shit, son. There. That should be better. All right, Delhi, you're a lady. Nice. Let's get over there. All right, so the Dutchy, 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 Dutch, Dutch. The touchy dutchy dutch. Dutchy touchy dutch. Dutch dutchy dutch. Dutchy dutchy dutch. Dutch dutch. Uh, we're gonna have to destroy them. Utterly and completely. Organizing Kurzakstan. Yay, Kurzakstan. Oh, yeah, I see Kurzakstan. Alright, and, um, alright, so we're done here. Let's transport all these guys over to the Dutch provinces. Come on. Cool. Get over here and continue on. Continue on the fights. Oh, hey, Indonesia, you want in? You want? Oh, no, that's Madagascar. Indonesia is the other flag that's red and white. Seriously, way too many red and white flags. Poland, Madagascar, Indonesia. You guys gotta calm it. Gotta fucking cool it, man. Cool it with all these flags. The exact same flags at that. All right, and there goes that one. There goes that one. Now, these don't count for shit in our uh, war score, but I just like taking these lands over so they lose their um, ports and such. Ports and such. All right, get over there. And get over there as well. Now, you guys get up there. Do they still have lands? Yeah, they still have plenty of lands over there. Great, and organizing Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan, yeah. Alright, get over there, and go up there. You gonna get annexed? No. The Japanese have you under their sphere as well, so... I mean, the Japanese have done a pretty good job cleaning up uh, Southeast Asia with me. You know? Uh, here, let's move you over here. Move you here, move you here. And move you here, over there. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Now, just remember this game. Who's been doing all the hard work? Ooh, attacker occupation is actually pretty high. Maybe it's because all the population's over here. Maybe. Maybe, baby. All right. Prioritize saving the poor neighborhoods because we have a lot more poor people. Fuck the rich. Down with the bourgeois. Proletariat will rise. End of the Arab Revolt. Good. To mean immediately. Oh, why don't you guys just get down here. Get ready to board because we're going to go straight for the Netherlands. Like mainland Netherlands. We also found gas attack when... Uh, oh, gas defense. I'm sorry. Gas defense when we were at war with the French. Technically at war with them. But, you know, not really at war. Here, might as well go over here. And get down there. Come on and get down. It's time to dance now. All right. All right, come on. You can destroy these guys. You don't have a leader, but you can destroy those guys. Come on. I believe in you. Ooh, aeronautics. Very nice. So, let's get a better navy. Naval organization is really important. Fascist trade unions. Leave them be. I don't care about trade unions. All right. Factory outputs. And you guys get down there. You guys get over here. And we squished that army. Sweet. Can we get down there? Nice. Oh my god. And there goes their navy. Why would they do that? That's just a... Oh, they have to... They do have some heavies. What heavies are they? Don't seem like very good... Oh, they're ironclads. Well, that's a horrible idea. We lost two transports, which is okay. They lost pretty much everything else. Pretty much everything else. I could kill them. Navy professionalism. Nice. So let's get Navy decision making. We want lots of organization for our Navy. 
before we go and crush the Dutch. How strong is their navy? Only 30 now. And they pretty much have no army. So everyone, get on board. The invasion of the mainland Dutch will begin. They want to acquire South Dutch South Borneo, but no. We'll allow the uh, game to decide. <sighs> okay, we need to determine... Can we get military access? No, you hate us. F uh, they won't even accept that. Really? Got their dicks. Uh, anyone who likes us? You give me it. No. Will Reno Onido give me it? No. Um... Shitty, shitty fuck. But, well, Ottomans obviously give me access. And... Well, we'll just hope for the best. We don't have... We have very low supply limit. Oh, I just realized that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we even going to be able to transport our soldiers? Uh, let's just go along the coasts here. What is this? Oh, the Dutch have occupied all their territory? Oh, no. Here. Uh, wait, is there not fleet basing rights? Why can't I land in their land? Land in their land, land. All right, and what is your tech at? Oh, they only have 16 tech. They don't have gas defense or gas attack. All right, let's land our soldiers over here. Destroy the Dutch. The Dutch invasion falls. And annihilate them. Sweet. So now the Dutch have only 22 brigades. I don't care about Romania. Sorry. Sorry, I don't care. Oh, and North German fascist. Yeah, that's, um, that's cool. <laughs> Just go fascist. Yeah. All right, let's get naval plans to increase our, tr our range. Oh, I should have gotten that first. Whatever. We could suffer a bit of attrition. Yeah, and Portugal has just been permanently owned by uh, those reactionaries, but they haven't been freed. It's kind of weird. Oh, shit. Is that? No, no, it's fine. Oh, my God. What are these? Dutch fascists. Well, we've annihilated their navy. Oh, my God. We only lost two transports. That's pretty sad. All right, but once we take over a bit of land, we'll be able to dismantle them. Awesome. Come on, get this quickly. Can't allow myself to die. Wow, we lost a lot of people. What, what about the rest? Oh, there's still another 15,000 sitting here. What the hell, game? All right, and naval statistics. It only increases by 10%, really? Wow, that's a low amount. All right, but uh, all you guys, go take over this naval base, because we're going to need a naval base, and you guys go and land. Actually, no, stay the blockade. Stay blockading. Stay the blockading. Yes, very nice. All right, but once we take over that naval base, we'll be able to repair our broken ships. Oh, shit. What the fuck are you doing? Go kill them down there. Yeah, kill the, uh, there you go. Oh, my God, we are annihilating them. Oh, my God, we have a five attack general? Jesus Christ. And those are just mobilized forces, too. Nice. All right, thank you, Nedged. You're a lamb. You're a lamb. All right, and they are ready to surrender. So, let's, oh, no, they're all uh, supplied up. Good. There you go. Surrendering. Uh, we are not going to dismantle, fuck you, Japan. We're just going to dismantle their nation. All right, or dismantle their empire, I guess you could say. All right, and let's bring these boys back home. What? All right, there you go. Uh, let's bring these boys back home over here. And let's see the dismantling. So I'd hope that I gain most of this land. I mean, a lot. I know Indonesia is going to be freed. A lot of Indonesia is going to be freed. The war is over. Yay, long live the Mughal Empire. Blah, blah, blah. And we gained a bit of prestige. Not a lot, but a bit. And the North German Federation, well, they just look like Nazis. And they totally dismantled. You have Baden, Würzburg, and Württemberg, and all that other fun Bergs. You know what I mean. But I'm definitely not going to ally with them now. Are, are you going to collapse yet? Boy? Boy, are you going to collapse or are you going to collapse? Seriously, collapse. There you go, the Dutch colonies, Treaty of Amsterdam. I just realized we can't take what we want. Oh, no. Oh, of course the Japanese take land. 
But we took that, so that's good. Maybe we could survive. Maybe we could survive. Let's get naval logistics. Keep getting the uh, supply range. Hmm. We could do it. It's fine. We'll accept control over pretty much anything. Yep. Good. Good. Of course, freaking this place has been split into pieces. There you go. All right. So we've taken over all of Vietnam. Sadly, Cambodia is now under the Japanese. I didn't even need the Japanese to be honest. Uh, anything else? Polish Lithuanian Africa. Ew. Oh my God. French communists. They're gonna lose all this land. Colonial chaos and shit. Uh, what about Caracas? Oh, we owned it. Yay! We owned it. We own it. Uh, Reino Unido has Portuguese communists. How cute. Um, anything else? Mali. Ooh, that's freed. South Africa is looking huge as ever. And, uh, I'm sure everyone's breaking our, their alliances with us. No, they aren't, actually. Oh, good. And, of course, Indonesia's fucking huge. Can I just annex them? No, right, I forgot. No more war. And they're protected by the Japanese, so I'm just not gonna fuck with that. Where's our navy? You didn't pick them up. You know what? Just walk home. You can. So just walk home. Everyone's having fucking rebels right now. Oh, uh, this is great. What are these... Uh, reactionary, so you're gonna see a, uh, dictatorship. A presidential dictatorship. Now, um... And we can pick out so many more soldiers. I hate how the Japanese own all this land, but, uh, I mean, we could ja but we could dismantle the Japanese Empire. We, we, we could. We'll be able to blockade them completely, since they have, like, no ships. We can continue building up our battleships. Now, I think the amount of battleships we have is very nice. It's very nice. And besides, we have no more war for how long? Till 20. The Japanese? Oh, they're actually declaring war on us for containment. Huh. No one else do this, please? <coughs> Where's our navy now? Where is the navy? Uh, well, go destroy their navy because they decide they want to be assholes. They just want to be big old pieces of ass. All right. Um. I don't know how they seek to how they're gonna seek to accomplish this, cause uh, we're we're just better than them in terms of military power. I don't know if they expect other people. Other people might declare war on us. If the Russians declare war on us, that might be a problem. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, well, there goes that army. Yep, no, that's fair. Jesus Christ, mate. Um, I might as well get that people down here. Uh, everyone, get up here, get up here. Well, this is a good opportunity for us to dismantle the Japanese. Very good opportunity for us to do that. Um, can we reach all the way over to the actual Japanese homeland? Seems as though we might be able to, yeah. And the Chinese? The Chinese? Oh, China, you poor lost soul. No. You idiots. Can I dismantle them? I wonder if I could. Uh, you know what? Now, I think, is the best time to mobilize, if any. We're going to need to tariff the shit out of our people. But we need to mobilize. And dear God, we have a lot to mobilize. <coughs> uh, let's get over there. Just get on over there, boy. Damn. Damn. Alright, let's see how big this battle is gonna be. Yeah, uh, that's about as good as I expected from, uh, China. You see, they don't... The, a, they're an uncivilized nation. I don't know what they expected... But you see, when an uncivilized nation attacks a civilized nation, not only just a civilized nation, a civilized nation with gas attack, there's no way they can win. I could take down like 500,000 men with just one of my armies. Just one of my armies. Now, I don't have any forts because I'm an idiot, but um, I mean, I'll still be able to destroy them in time. Look at that. Just annihilation. I lost 250. I lost so much less than they did. Uh, oh, God, I totally forgot about it all the way up there. And we already have a fuck ton of people mobilized. 
Let's get them all all across the lands. Oh, hey, I totally forgot about these guys up here. Yep, this is going to be an easy war. Well, we went over the limit, as expected. I don't, I don't think I want to keep going over the limit. Because, uh, well, I mean, I believe this works the same way as HPM. If I keep going too high up, then I'll uh, start getting uh, bad stuff happening to me. Like, more than just people declaring war on me, you know? Could I dismantle the Japanese? I could dismantle the Japanese. Could I dismantle them? I cannot dismantle them. You want out, Ching? Because if I, if I could dismantle the Japanese, that would be actually really nice. I wonder who else. No, it would just be Korea. Russia would gain that land, probably, and we'd pay, be able to take over their colonies. Wouldn't be much else, but we gain a ton of prestige. But you know what? This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes, so... <sighs> that... This... This is actually pretty good. You know, add some more spice into our war. We can now totally annihilate the Japanese and the Chinese. Although, I believe I'm just going to peace out with the Chinese. It's just going to be too easy of a war. And they just have so many brigades. Can't really do much. I can liberate countries, but that would just put me deeper in the hole. And I don't want to do that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Ilya Tunos. See you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.